work guys, we are back. I fixed it. I got our team under the cap. I don't know what happened. That's never happened to me before. I mean, in the off season, when I signed all the players, it told me I had enough cap room. I don't know why all of a sudden I didn't. Um, it was really weird. I, I really don't understand the roster moves like cap system in this game. Um, or at least I thought he did. But um, I fixed it. I, I traded some players away. I traded away Michael Rosaval. He didn't fit on the team and... I needed to trade away that contract, and I did. And I also traded away Alex Tangay. And as you can see, this, the team still looks pretty good without him. Uh, that third line is full of two-way forwards. And it looks like Ryan O'Reilly, it looks like we're going to hang on to him after two years of saying that I, I was looking to trade him. Uh, I realized, you know, it's not a bad salary, and he, he's not a bad player for that third line. He's not. So he, he just didn't fit in our top six, which is full now. Um, so, yeah, this is the team. I already set up all the lines. Um, defensively, there it is. Uh, power play. Uh, penalty kill. And then the shootout lineup. Looks like that. And then the goalies, obviously. But Semin Varlamov, he does fit on the team now. <laughs> so there we go. That is the team. And one thing that I still have to do is... Um, where is it? Coaching options. Jersey numbers. We are going to name Matt Duchesne the next captain. It's not going to be Patrick Kane. I don't know why the game automatically chose Patrick Kane. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Matt Duchesne is the newest captain. Alternates are going to be Eric Johnson. And let's give it to... Who should we give it to? Um, hmm. I don't really want to give it to anybody. No one, no one's really been a leader for us. And most of these guys are new. You know, we'll give it to Tyson Berry for now. But that, that's still up for grabs. That spot, but we'll, we'll give it to Tyson Berry for now. Um, so there we go. That's the team. All that is done. All right. So now the expectations are even higher this year for the Colorado Avalanche. Last year. Pretty disappointing year getting eliminated in the second round. We did get eliminated by the President's Trophy winners, but still a pretty disappointing year. I mean, after year one, making it to the Western Conference Final to get beat in the uh, semifinal round. That was pretty disappointing. Um, you know, what are you going to do? Um, but we are just going to simulate the first month here. Around the first month, I'll simulate the first game of the season just to Good feel for where we're at. Okay, first period. And there we go. Dominic Moore. I was actually getting, thinking about making Dominic Moore the alternate. I, I didn't, but uh, maybe we could do that now. Uh, Patrick Kane, power play goal, second period. Patrick Kane again, and Dominic Moore. <laughs> Patrick Kane and Dominic Moore. These two lighten it up. All right, now the third period. Times eight. Ooh, Tomas Hurdle. Got one for the Sharks, but that not even close. And the Avalanche win the first game of the season at home, 4-1. to one. Dominic Moore and Patrick Kane both scoring two goals. Alright. So for the team, I'm not really sure what else we need. I mean, we have a huge prospect pool coming up. A lot of guys. I and mean, we could use more forward prospects, I think. But, you know, as far as defense, um, we're... You know, we have some great defensive prospects. Uh, Julius Hanka being the biggest one. And then um, in the net, Varlamov's going to be our goalie for the next 10 plus years. So, uh, the team's looking really, really nice. Nothing really we need to do. I mean, the first and second line uh, are perfect. You know, two amazing centers down the middle. And then four snipers alongside of all of them. And then... The third line, you have all two-way forwards, and then the fourth line, you have all grinders and two-way forwards. So it, it's my perfect team. Uh, defensively, you could still get a little bit better. I mean, that left-handed defenseman spot uh, is still vacant. I would like to put in the top two left-handed defensemen there alongside Johnson and move Tyson Berry down to the second line defense, but um, you know, maybe that'll come in a trade in the next video. Um so far, not a terrible start to the season. 3-2-1, Patrick Kane looks like he's doing very well. Nine points in six games. 
Very nice. Now here we go. The Chicago Blackhawks, the team that beat us last year, they lost Hayes and Kane. I checked out their uh their team and I saw that uh Patrick Kane or uh Jonathan Taves is also no longer a part of the Chicago Blackhawks. I guess they traded him away, I'm not sure. But he was not on their roster. So I just don't think he was. I searched by salary, I think, and I didn't see him, so but it could be wrong. I don't know. Um but if Taze and Kane are both gone, then, then uh, that's rough on them. Okay, I, there's another Grigorenko. Apparently, uh, Benson. I know he gets good, I'm pretty sure. Cartier. I don't really recognize any of these names. So now I'm just going to go with the WHL. Alright. Actually, we'll simulate it to Chicago here. I want to see if they actually do have taste. Because if they do have taste, he would be on their leaderboards, I'm sure. Draft class in general field. Good year for rookies. All right, that's good. Maybe trade for some late first rounders. Try to get some nice four, three and a half star players. Don't really need to go for any top ten picks. Look at that. We were 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. Now we're 6-3-1. and one. All right, Patrick Kane's still doing nice. On that first line. Still doing pretty good. Um, and here we go. Almost there. There we go. Okay, so they do still have Jonathan Tate. So I, I don't know what... Oh, you know what? It was the preseason when I checked. So uh, I think he wasn't on their roster. I'm not sure. I think I think they sent him down to the minors for the preseason or something. But they do still have Jonathan Taves. All right, so they still are a a good team. I mean, they're they're three six and zero to start the year. But you know, many teams don't start the year well. Um, but yeah, we we took Patrick Kane away from them. Uh, we'll just simulate this last game, and that'll be the end of the video. First period. You know, Reed Boucher. Two goals, and then Patrick Sharp, a shorthanded goal, second period. Reed Boucher, the hat trick against Chicago. All right. The new first line left winger, the third period. Can we close it out? Yeah, there we go. Matthew Shane scores a goal on Carruth. Not sure where uh, Crawford is. Okay, Nordstrom. I'm not sure who that is. Um, there we go. A nice 4-2 win over... The Chicago Blackhawks, the team that beat us last year, looks like we're 2 0 against them this year so far. Pretty nice. Um, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, guys. The next episode, which uh, most likely will come up right after this one, um, we'll be just simulating most likely up to the trade deadline and maybe a, a trade between now and then. And I will see you guys in the next video.